Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is the Japanese B-League. Susano Shimani Magic taking on Chiba Jets. Well, two proud clubs going head-to-head -head as the B-League uh, comes back to life after a two-week break. And you can look at the standings. Chiba Jets in the Eastern Conference, 9-6 and six in third place behind Alvark Tokyo. And you can see down... In the other division, uh, which was there for a while anyway, uh, you in the West, you've got Shimani Susano Magic down at eight and seven. That is a power packed uh, West. And you look back at uh, the recent action, and uh, these two teams, uh, when they last met, Chiba Jets and uh, Shimani Susano Magic. And uh, that was quite a series that we had. Obviously, uh, Chiba Jets having that great season last year when they won the Emperor's Cup and made it all the way to the finals. Perrin Buford, obviously, also one of the standout players uh, in the competition. Uh, Yuka Tagashi always going at it. And, uh, well, that was on November 30th, 87-83. Chiba Jets uh, winning that one over Shimani in the round of 15, in the uh, 15th round of action, actually. And you can look at the overall numbers. So Chiba Jets really getting that great performance from Mooney, from... Uh, uh, from DJ Stevens. Anyway, Sh uh, Shimani Susanu Magic uh, coming out with their lineup today, and you can see it's a it is a, a power packed lineup uh, built to win. Perrin Buford, say Ando Nick K, uh, Hiramu Kitagawa, Nyiko Williams, and then coming off the bench, Hirotaka Ohashi. You've got Hassan Martin. Shota Suyama, you've got Ryosuke Shirahama, and uh, also Kokiski Wiley, and Kevin Hariyama, and last but certainly not least, Daike Taniguchi. Nick K, look at his numbers. He's now 31 years of age. And in that uh, game uh, that was just played, had uh, a fine outing. And for Chiba Jets, well, needs no introduction. This team, I'll tell you, Yuka Tagashi, uh, Soto Okura. You've also got DJ Stevens, John Mooney, Ira Brown. And then uh, coming off the bench is Sato Ogawa. You got Xavier Cooks. See if he's cooking up anything today. Fumio Nishimura. Uh, Ren Kanechika. You've also got uh, Marcus Kaishu Tobin. And again, last but certainly not least, Gaku Orayu, the big man coming off the bench to provide some big moments. So the interesting uh, development really with this team, Xavier Cooks uh, coming into this team and... Um, every bit the player that they anticipated and people will know him uh, because of his uh, past exploits for his national team played for australia played at actually the fiba basketball world cup that was staged this summer took on uh, japan hails from ballarat had a spell uh, most recently in the nba and uh with the Washington Wizards, and here he is now playing in Japan. So that is a nice addition of quality for John Patrick's team.
There's Tagashi. So again, the starting five for this Chiba Jets team is going to be Tagashi, Okura, Stevens, Mooney, and Ira Brown. Ira Brown, the former baseball player. You never know. Never say never. Ira Brown could end up playing at the Olympics for Japan. He's played for them before. And Chiba Jets, uh, led by coach John Patrick, one of the really great coaches in basketball. Enjoyed watching him and meeting him uh, when he coached in Europe, in Germany, uh, for MHP Reason, Lewisburg. And last year just came oh so close to a remarkable season. They were setting all types of records for wins. Won the Emperor's Cup, but then fell to Ryuka Golden Kings in the final. It's hard. It's hard to win it all. And uh, if any team looked like they were going to win it all, it was this team. And they just came up short right at the last moment. So, So as we look at this uh, team at eight and seven, Shimani Susanu Magic, I, th I think it's time uh, that they got their their program into gear. They've got the players. You know, they proved it last season, and just a good competition uh, in this B League. Paul Hanari, their their coach from New Zealand, the former New Zealand national team coach, actually played for New Zealand as well. Some of those great teams in the past now calling the shots. And, uh, you know, they raised the bar for expectations last season with their performance, uh, Shimani did. So, you know, they've got high expectations coming into this, coming into this one. Okay, their starting five is going to be uh, Buford, Ando, K, Kitagawa, and Williams, who wears number 28. Kitagawa wears number six. And there is Hanari. So referees also lining up for today's game. And again, the starting fives for both teams. Now, John Moody, one of the most complete players in this competition, both with his size and that low post and ability to operate, also stepping outside and shooting and defensively providing the rim protection and the rebounds. One of the elite players, and uh, it's been fun watching him play. There's Buford. I mean, this is a guy that also gets it done. What a head-to-head -head matchup that would be. Although, really, I mean, players... Uh, that have two different positions. Mooney operating primarily down low, and Buford's going to have the ball in his hands a lot. Bringing the basketball up the floor, creating, scoring. We're underway. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. And a 
strange situation with Perrin. Buford has collapsed on the floor. This is not good. What happened? Did he get hit in the head on the jump ball by accident? I have never seen anything like it. Oh, boy, this is going to... Hopefully he's okay. Watch. Here he is. So Stevens behind him. And he just tried. Strange situation. He's going to be examined, obviously, by the team doctor. So coming in as his replacement is going to be Martin. So we don't know what the deal is with Buford, but Shimani Susanu Magic have just lost their most important player. Uh, but for how long, it remains to be seen. Uh, so the game has resumed. Gives the ball back to Chiba Jets. Now Tagashi, Mooney. And Mooney strokes that mid range jump shot. Finally, the answer, K gets his team on the board. Long three-point shot, no good. Now driving in, and the basket is good. So nice uh, repost there from Seiya Ando. in the basketball game number 10 so it's uh interesting we got two australia internationals on the court and they're going to be going head to head so anybody watching down under has a vested interest in this game including uh national team coach brian gorgian who's i would think likely to have both of these guys in the olympic squad here's tagashi putting it up from the wing oh beautiful play in fact in between the wing and the top of the key shot clock so Shimani kind of grinding to a halt on that possession
The 5-5 Chiba Jets and Shimane Susanu Magic. Reaching in, knocking it away with Martin. Still no word yet on what's going on with Perrin Buford. Who uh, had to be, had to exit the game immediately after the opening tip. He went down the court kind of holding his head. And uh, it could be that they're going to err on the side of caution. Not bring him back into the game. We will know when it happens, if it happens. There's Tagashi, and that is what Tagashi does. He is never shy. He will put him up, and he knocks that one down. Could be the exertions from yesterday also had an impact on Buford. Here is the follow from K. So Nick K reducing the arrears back to just one point here early in the contest. And there's Cooks driving in. Oh boy, you can see his athleticism, his guile. And I believe it's uh, his fellow Australian uh, guarding the rim that gets the foul. Cooks misses the first. Very tight game yesterday until that second quarter. And Shimani raced into a 11 point lead, only to be pegged back in the third and then just not having quite enough to get to the finish line in the fourth. Oh, Cooks misses both. But the long rebound, and Tagashi gets it. That would have annoyed uh, Paul Hanari if they'd given up a three pointer after the two misses at the line. Say Endo. Endo for three. And a rebound. Williams, no, doesn't grab it, but Endo has it. Say Endo pulls up from behind the arc. Long rebound. Oh boy, Cooks takes that telegraph pass and gets it up the floor in the basket on the fast break is good from Chiba's number 13, Okura. Bounce pass, Ando hands it off to Williams. Oh, Williams. I think Ando probably regretting that he didn't put that one up. Now the pass down low and Stevens Denied, or excuse me, Ira Brown denied right at the rim. So both teams uh, getting it close, but not close enough on their last two possessions. So the good news is, is the pair in Buford is in the game. And we're only going to know what happened once he exits the game at the end, <laughs> leaves the court. But it looks like everything is fine. So bizarre situation. Here's Buford. If everybody's wondering what's going on with him right now. Here he is putting it up and good job. Stevens playing some defense on Buford. Good length, good long arms. Cooks and Cooks misses. And then the foul in the backcourt on uh, Arayo. That's great defense from Williams. Had his hands straight up, not giving anything away. So Perry Buford really has uh, made the headlines uh, just one second into the game by having to leave. And I know everybody's gonna be talking about that at least for a while, wondering what happened. And now Ando catches, it looked like 
uh, Nishimura in the face. Watch this. Oh, with the head. But inadvertent, Nishimura was right on top of him. Well, that didn't feel good. So there are both teams having players drop in like a sack of wood. I mean, there's there's absolutely no unsportsmanlike foul here, but I guess you can understand why they want to have a look at it. I would be shocked if they called an unsportsmanlike. So this is a head coach's challenge, in fact. So by Patrick, he thinks something happened, so maybe it did. Let's have another look. That's a that's a interesting uh, time to use your head coach's challenge. Thinking that was uh, an unsportsmanlike. And they took all of five seconds, just like me, <laughs> to realize there's nothing there. It's a strange one. Strange uh, strange injury. First of all, a strange decision. Uh, to challenge that, and I don't know if Nishimura said something to him to challenge it, because usually a coach will listen to the player. It is long shot, no good, but the long rebound. Yama missed that jumper. Here's Buford. Buford trying to get in the flow. Hasn't done so yet. Williams has it. He's active. He puts it up, and he's fouled on the play by Orion. Tagashi having words with uh, the referee about something. And Williams taking his time. It's uh, It's been an unusual start to the game, to put it mildly. Now Hanari's having a laugh, thankfully, with Tagashi about something. Cooks with the rebound. Andrew Cooks. His star was on the rise last season. There is the drive and all knocked away. Here comes Kay. I think it speaks really highly of the B League that they can attract a player like Cooks at this moment in his career. There's Williams going up. Now three, no, it's a long two in fact. Now they're gonna call the three. Say Ando knocks it down. And the Magic go back in front. So John Patrick wanted to talk things over. This is Williams. Yeah, both feet firmly behind the arc, right behind the arc. And Ando helped up, and I half expected the, the foul to be called on that play. It wasn't, and good defense. So the Magic fans happy. We'll go down and listen to the coach. Looks like it was um, the Magic that called the timeout.
So coming back to live action, Shiba on the attack. Here comes Tagashi, puts it up, and again, about the third time today, rebound batted out to the perimeter off the missed shot for Chiba Jets. Now Karen Buford with the kick, so they're going to give him 14 seconds. Should be should be 14 seconds on the shot clock. And that's exactly what John Patrick is saying. Unless they're saying that it was inadvertent and he didn't kick it, so that must be the case. It is Cooks. Cooks gets it up and scores. Well, it just meant that he was going to shoot it faster and score faster. Maybe it helped him in the end. And the 28-year-old Cooks. Here's K, missing everything. Goes off of Williams. Tagashi saves it in bounds to Cooks. Cook, uh, Tagashi off the front of the rim and Buford sweeps in for the rebound. Say Ando for three, count that. And he makes it. Right with Agawa in his grill. Great shot. Say, Ando, one of those players who's fearless in this B League. That's like Tagashi. Agawa missing from deep. I think that would be a fantastic one on one game. Ando and Tagashi. I would pay to see it. Here goes Nick K. Driving in, banking it in. He goes to five for the Magic. Driving in and Mooney denied right at the rim. And it's not working right now for Chiba Jets. Buford to the corner. Here's the drive, Buford. And Ando, excuse me, not Ando. Here's uh, Ando. And Ando knocks down another three pointer. He is as hot as a firecracker. Taniguchi also in the game right now for the Magic, and he is guarding Mooney. Three-point shot off target. Rebound Mooney. Taniguchi with the rebound. Taniguchi for three. That's good. Boy, the threes are falling for Shimani right now. Here with 40 seconds to go in this first quarter and the wind in their sails another quick shot another offensive rebound and Tagashi back over to Stevens he misses Mooney another long rebound 10 second difference on the game clock and the shot clock There's Tagashi, and he misses another one, and another offensive rebound. Oh, boy, I don't know about that shot. Taken way too quickly by Ira Brown. Ando. Oh, can you believe it? And I'll tell you what, Ira Brown is regretting that he took that shot when he did. And another miss for Chiba. They are as cold as the winter in the Arctic.
It's 26 to 12. Shimani Susanu Magic leading it over the Chiba Jets. Well, second quarter action underway. The action fast and furious. And look at that. Shimani somehow dodged the bullet at the other end. And Martin scores to stretch the lead to 16 points. And that vaunted uh, John Patrick style man to man in your face defense needs to come to the fore here. But on the other hand, uh, they get away with a break there. Cooks look like he might have lost it out of bounds off of him, but they're going to give them the basketball. 16 points the difference. And whoa, throwing it down, Stevens. Buford into the corner, Taniguchi off the iron. So Chiba just trying to uh, score on. Oh, look at that. That's going to help. And now they're on a 5 0 run, and they've cut the deficit to 11. Karen Buford hooping and scooping gets it. Over to Ando, who falls over and have to hurry up a shot. 
And just like this, all of a sudden, the magic looked a little bit disheveled, a little bit out of sync. So here is, again, Chiba and grazing the net, goes out of bounds. the rebound. Here for missing from down low. Now outside to Nick K. Three-point shot. And again, another miss, but look at Mooney. This time he had position, but doesn't bring it down. Okay, they changed it, Mooney. Don't worry. You got the ball. Now he's upset now that they didn't call a foul. It down low just outside the key. He is bumped as he goes up, but Chiba turns it over. Yeah, he traveled. Okay, he's <laughs> skip hopping a jump. One baseline, now they swing it. Perrin Buford. And they scrap away. Buford, the pump fake. Finally goes up and they gets a chance for an N1. So Buford takes and makes the free throw for the three-point play. down low and Cooks goes up and he's fouled as he tries to dunk it. Williams thought he had a good challenge at the rim. Question is, did they call the foul on Williams or did they call it from behind? No, they called on Williams.
The Cook's having a hard time at the free throw line right now. And there is Mooney with the rebound, 13 points. I'll tell you what, it feels like it's a lot worse right now for Chiba. They're only down 13, and now you can make that 10. As uh, they go down and hit the shot on the break, that was uh, Kamichika. Five minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the opening half. Here's Buford, and again, another and one for Perrin Buford. So the lead goes back to 13 after the Buford three-point play. Cooks lays it up and in. Here goes Buford on the baseline to Williams. Williams all struggling to put shots away right, right in the in the low block there, right under the basket. Buford has it again. He puts it up, and man, boy, Perrin Buford is back to being Perrin Buford. Forget what happened at the beginning of the game. He has uh, found his rhythm all of a sudden. Outstanding. Williams, it's just inconceivable that he's not making that shot so close to the basket, but fortunately for the Magic, they get the rebound, and then Buford, their hottest man, Gets the basketball and knows what to do with it. So timeout on the court. This is turning into a fun one, folks. Look at that. 15 points has been scored already by Seiya Ando. Buford has eight, K6, Tanaguchi three, and Martin two. I mean, I said Buford is the hottest, the hottest meaning in the last couple of minutes. Seiya Ando has been sensational in this first half, 15 points. And for Chiba, you can see Tagashi and Kanachika each with six points. Cooks has five, Okura and Stevens two. So, very strange. Also, Mooney has two. It's strange, uh, just strange viewing. You look at, you know, you look at the box scores. Mooney, one of four. Stevens, one of five. Okura, one of four. And, and obviously you have Cooks who's two of three, but he's just one of four from the free throw line. So they have really, had some heavy sledding here. The boy Cooks falling over. Martin guarding him. And yeah, Gucci comes up with the basketball. Magic. They were wobbling a little bit when Chiba Jets were coming back. And uh, they've righted the ship. Cooks is going to come out of the game. Taniguchi missing it. He made it from the left corner, which is obviously the easier three. Misses that one, and the lead remains at three.
four minutes remaining in this first half. Mooney, another miss. Really surprised. He's just not on his game right now. Buford over to Ando. Well, he had the follow through that looked good, but the shot was short. Three-point shot and another miss for Chiba there. Colder and a polar bear in Alaska right now. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. They have been refrigerating, coming out of the freezer perhaps. Uh, maybe it's going to happen in the second half. Here's Buford. Oh, boy. Look at that. I think any doubts about his health were answered there. He just mesmerized with that move out on the perimeter and Perrin Buford as good as say Ando has been in this first half I would not be surprised if uh, Perrin Buford gets a couple more buckets a few more buckets and passes him there's a dump down low to Mooney and he is fouled by Martin in a sense you could argue boy that was fortunate for Mooney to get to the free throw line Looks like he got a lot of ball, Martin. In a sense, it's uh, Chiba Jets. If they get out of here with a split, you would think they would be happy. But I know that because of the competition that they're facing in their division, especially in the overall competitiveness of this B League, you need to get every win that's within reach because they all add up by the end of the season if they're going to make it into the playoffs. Timeout on the court, 15-point lead for Shimani Susanu Magic over the Chiba Jets. That miss brings it back to Chiba, down 13. They want to get this thing down to 10 points or less by halftime. Tagashi for three misses. Say Ando in the open floor, looks at his options, takes it all the way, and Mooney whistled for the foul. See, he's frustrated right now. I mean, clearly that was all ball, but I think I'm wondering if they got him with the reach before that maybe he got a little grab
I'll say Ando having himself quite an quite an afternoon or evening makes both. He's got 17. it over and McKay and the lead balloons to 18. And Chiba Jets all out of sorts on this end of the floor. They just can't get anything going. Now the turnover, the telegraph pass. Look at the hustle. Diving on the floor for the loose ball. Suyama couldn't pick it up, but that illustrates how badly this Magic team wants it today. The ball's going to stay at this end. Look at this. In fairness to Tagashi, he's wins possession. He saw the situation. He thought he was going to get it, but just laying himself out there. Sayama, that's a good indication of where this Magic team is today. They are locked in. And really, this would be a devastating loss being up by 18 points at this stage. They need to win this game after falling in the first one. Mooney, or excuse me, Cooks finally catches down low, goes up and scores. And it's down to a 16-point deficit. Well, Paul Hinari could not have asked for a better reaction today than to see his magic come out and play like this in the first half. Up 16 points, but uh, against a team that has this type of talent, even though it hasn't gelled in this first half, he knows there's a long way to go in this one. Buford. Ando for three. You can count it. My goodness, what a first half. He's having 20 points for Seiya Ando. Taking that shot with confidence. The lead is 19. Tagashi. And long three again. No good. And they want Tagashi to put it up. He was unselfish. Chica couldn't find the, the range. Or was that a Gawa? Anyway, here goes uh, Buford driving bounce pass. K. K with the follow. And now Tagashi has it. That's a missed opportunity. They could have picked that one up and scored. Tagashi, a little runner from deep. And just finishes off what has to be uh, considered one of the, the worst offensive showing first half for this. Chiba Jets team in, in some time. Unbelievable, their struggles. So 46-27, Shimani Susanu Magic leading. You can see Nick K frustrated. He didn't score on that last chance. 19-point advantage for the Magic against the Jets.
Well, it's been quite a first half for the Shimani Susunu Magic, uh, getting out and making a lot of baskets and Chiba Jets offensively, just not finding anything, any type of rhythm, missing open shots, especially in that second quarter, just got really ugly for John Patrick's team. So Ando meanwhile has just been knocking down one three pointer after another. And at halftime, say Ando has, uh, sitting on a four of nine mark from deep. And I thought he had 20 points, but looking at the official stats, it says he has 17 right now, the captain. And Hassan Martin had to come into the game early when Perry and Buford went out. Kind of Chica hitting that three-pointer. And Mooney getting the rebound. And kind of cheek and making that one. Kind of cheek with six points on those two made three pointers, but uh, Perrin Buford then came to life in the second quarter and he uh, is sitting on 10 points at halftime. There you look at the numbers, and it is not pleasant viewing. Three more made three-pointers for the Magic than Chiba. Former makes inside the arc. They're out rebounding Chiba Jets, which is a little surprising because it seems like, I guess you do have those eight offensive rebounds for the Chiba Jets. Um, but overall, it's been a, an exercise in futility for Chiba. They just have not been able to get it going. Eight bench points. For Shimani, that's the category where the Chiba Jets are doing a little bit better with 13. Also, uh, 10 points in the paint for them. 16 points in the paint for the Magic. And, yeah, so Ando does indeed have 17. Buford, 10. K, 9. And for Chiba, it's Cooks with 7. And both uh, Kanichika and Tagashi with six points. And you look at the rebounding numbers, Buford leading the way for the Magic. And Mooney has six. Tagashi rebounding well for point guard has five for the Chiba Jets. Also, Ando has six rebounds. So they can have action underway. Chiba Jets looking for a little bit of uh, something to get going here early in the second half. They need to go, and they need to go quickly. Stevens from downtown off the front of the iron. Mooney with the offensive rebound. Tagashi steps into a jump shot, and it's good.
And another chance for Chiba. And there's the bucket. And just like that, Tagashi brings it back to a 14 point deficit. Tagashi a full meter and a half behind the arc. He made a couple of jumpers, but missed that one. Uh, with Yuki Tagashi and your team, you're never out of it. He can get hot. Here's Buford. Started a long way from the basket. K wide open in the left corner. That's the easiest three on the court, but he misses. Gets the rebound back. Say Ando wide open. Williams keeps it alive, but Ira Brown comes down with the basketball. Say Ando whistled for the foul, so a little bit of a Shaky start here for the Magic to the second half. They've not scored. And Chief Jet certainly with the opportunities here in the first couple minutes to whittle this deficit down. Steven back to Tagashi. Tagashi guarded by Buford a long way from the basket. It's almost a moving screen on Mooney. He catches it down low and scores. And Paul Hanari must be thinking about getting a timeout. They don't get a bucket here. I would not be surprised just to kind of slow down, just disrupt Chiba Jets a little bit. Here's K. Mando into Williams. K gets it, puts it up at the strike just in the nick of time. There's Mooney. There goes Ando, and Ando strokes it. Three-point shot just in the nick of time. Well, that was a nice look. Tagashi bounce pass inside to Brown, and Mooney scores. And now it's a 10-point deficit. Oh, boy, what a nice play by Nick Kay. No 
the drive and now coming the other way. Bounce pass, Perrin Buford! Yama and Ando working well and Buford finishing it off right at the uh, right at the end. So the lead goes back to 14 and in the end, Hanari was right not to, to call for the timeout. Uh, but now, have, now we have Patrick talking to his team. So Buford completes the three-point play. It's a 15-point lead once again for the Magic. better in the second half following up uh, Okura and Gucci in the game he's got the basketball Buford has it again gets it back to Martin good defense Martin gets it though they put it up again Mooney swoops in for the rebound and Chiba Jets with another opportunity to get to 11 or 10 if they can knock down a three Gashi leans in, Buford with the rebound. Taniguchi from the left corner, how about that? He has hit a couple from the left corner today, one in the first half and now in the second. And the lead goes back to 16. Off target by Kanachika. He's going to state this in, though, with 3.15 remaining. Right now, Chiba outscoring Shimani 16-13 in the third quarter. Turning to the floor is Agawa. Played just under four minutes, and Mooney 
Hangs on to the rim a little bit there after. He's got 14 and 11, so he's having much more John Mooney-like numbers. And a drives and at least earns a trip to the free throw line. He's got 20 points. And very likely he's going to have 22 by the end of this. Ando goes to 22 points and the lead goes back to 16. See the Jets. Trade buckets. Here's Tagashi. And Cook's coming down. Going for the rebound. Buford avoids him. Buford not really boxing out there. Uh, but Martin was and Cook's way off his feet. Comes down. So that's his first foul falling on Martin. So two and a half minutes to go here in this third quarter. Buford. And from the corner, another three-pointer. And this one from Kitagawa. His first points of the game. Kitagawa guarding Tagashi, who's able to throw it off of him. And then Tagashi looks at the referee to say, hey, he was pushing me out of bounds. Another turnover for Chiba Jets and another opportunity traveling is the call on Cooks. Kitagawa stepping in front there, take, trying to take one for the team, but I understand it might take Cooks a little bit of time to adapt to this league. 19 points, the difference. Throwing the handles. And rebound Chiba pushing it quickly. And they go for it and they miss it. It was pushing it down the floor quickly was Agawa. That's what blows. So Tobin with the foul here going for the rebound. And that's where Cooks just needs to dunk that one home. First round Tobin just came into the game literally. Buford with the pass. And Ando drives into the paint and is fouled by Cooks. Magic eight of nine at the line today. Yeah. 
Hendo for me is the player of the game. He's got 23 points. Make it 24. Yama comes in for him. The final 116 in this third quarter. Cooks again drives in. He's got the elevation, but he's not coming close to making the basket. And Buford, I think he was trying to throw it into Martin. Comes back in. Tobin hears it from his coach, Patrick. 21 point lead for Shimane. There's a lot of contact out on the perimeter. Suyama. And Suyama now has the basketball and the magic here in the final minute, looking to stretch their lead even more. Being a bit redundant. Wow, Taniguchi, his third three of the game. Three of five from deep. His first from the wing, a 24 point beatdown taking place right now here. They're meeting it out, the Magic against a team that just beat them. So, a split looking very probable today is the Magic have come back, struck back with a vengeance. There is the drive and Cooks, a little extra effort. Stevens has it. Taniguchi whistled for the foul. comes back in and and all right not thinking he should be getting free throws wow he misses and now Buford's gonna get a to get it off in time doesn't matter he misses so it's all Shimani Susunu magic at the end of three quarters. They're eight and seven and 10 minutes away from uh, improving to nine and seven. They are in command 69 47 against Chiba Jets.
Well, a great crowd today, 4,514 spectators. Here in the Matsui City Gymnasium. Fourth quarter underway, the Magic. Wanted to put an exclamation mark on this one. And Buford takes it down low, or Martin rather, and is fouled by Orio. and he's going to be out of the game. That's number four. It's incredible. For a guy that's played two minutes. Well, 23 points, uh, the deficit, and you'd have to think it would be something out of this world for Chiba Jets to overhaul this deficit, no matter how much talent they've got in their team. But it is not impossible, folks. Believe me, it can happen. Chiba have not played well today. If some of these threes start falling, it can change in a hurry. Here's the drive in the bucket or go from Mooney. Nikkei, and that also can help them if they turn it over cheaply. Hadayama. A little bit of a rush, Kevin Hadayama there. Panari going smart cash. Nice white t-shirt on the sidelines, feeling relaxed as his team is in command. Looking to pick somebody out. He does. He gets it to Agawa who gets a layup. Goes right past Nick K. So nobody, no help there. And Agawa just able to get a layup. Leads to a timeout for the Magic. So that was Mooney scoring after the Agawa drive. So back to live action. Nick K has it. And another three pointer. Suyama so knocks it down. Wiley also in the game for the first time in this one. Kikiski Wiley. And that shot is no good. Well, that 
sure anybody could have predicted a 23 point margin right now for the Magic for this game. Mooney called for a push. He has not been happy all day with, <laughs> with anything, Mooney. So he's going to go take a seat. This is third foul. Here's Nick K. Falls down. Wiley has it. Say Ando. Hands it off to Martin, who gets it back, puts it up. And Cooks able to uh, go up and knock it off the rim. Seven fifty to go, and Chiba Jets uh, are going to be needing something like a miracle finish here if they are going to come back. Skip past other side. Ogawa down low, and Stevens missing. And right now, it's just one of those games for Chiba Jets. They just have not been themselves at all today. Kura gets it over and another miss. Uh, but Ira Brown gets it back. And another miss. And it's just not happening as Kay gets the rebound. And I'm guessing Magic will be more than happy just to take the time on offense. Nope, they're going to go right in it. And now about that, Nick K going in for the flush. What a hammering, the magic. Mashing the Chiba Jets today. An easy, easy dunk. No John Mooney in there to, to offer the rim protection. And it's a 25 point lead, timeout. So a lot of the starters back into the game. Tagashi back in for Chiba Jets. Stevens back in. And you also have Williams back into the game for Shimani. Goward getting in and not successful. This game started in no way, shape, or form. Did you think this was going to be uh, the difference between these two teams? That's the way Buford went down right off the jump ball. Didn't even know if he was going to make it back. So that foul called on Stevens. 
Now, but Buford's been good. 13 points, 11 rebounds. No coach, no player is going to complain about that type of production. Also has a block. Okay, makes the second. Stretches the lead further. And Mooney comes back in, 6.18 remaining, and they're just, now you start to realize it's probably definitely not gonna happen. You know, it's 22 points. It's a 20 point deficit, but now it's 26 points separating these two teams. Stevens, a long three. Buford, probing. Ando falls, gets back up, swing it. Buford in the paint, goes down looking for the whistle, doesn't get it. Yama with the foul. Stevens. Yama. Oh, Stevens falls, and Suyama's shot goes off the side of the backboard. Under five minutes. Behind the back pass, Stevens has it, puts it up. And again, it's just been a tough day at the office for Chiba Jets. Ogawa commits the foul on K. Interesting to hear John Patrick's thoughts on what's uh, not working so far this season compared to what he had last year when they got off to that great start. But it is uh, it has been a real struggle, and today they're losing by 23 points with just 420 remaining. Well, I guess you can look at who left, and you, you do see some big exits there. Gavin Edwards, important player, Vic Law, Chris Smith, Takuma Sato, especially those players, and even Java Yonayama, who was playing well. This is scoring news for today, but that's uh, those are some big shoes to fill when you think about it. But you get DJ Stevens. You get Cooks, you get Iron Brown, and uh, also Justin Mutz. Although Justin Mutz not playing today. But yeah, just um, maybe the 
chemistry issue, the experience factor. There's Suyama uh, called for the offensive foul as he was driving. So coming up on the four-minute mark. They've kept the core together for Shimani, that's for sure. Uh, but even they haven't been quite as uh, sharp at the beginning of the season compared to last season. Telegraph pass intercepted. Tagashi dribbling up high, lets it fly. Okay. Three point shot is good, another one. Yama, 83-54. I mean, they are looking at potential 30-point beatdown today, Chiba Jets, by this Magic team. On this evidence, you never would have known that Chiba won the first game between these teams. Tagashi. Ira Brown loses his handle as he gets in. Buford, no let up here from the Magic as Mooney fouls. So Buford takes his time, makes the first. And the second. Twenty-eight point lead for the Magic. Two and a half minutes to go and the whistle blows and the foul called on Williams Williams did really well today kind of helped set the tone down low Six year old Williams has really gotten it done today, that's for sure. Actually, hails from uh, Kingstown, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, played at University of Pacific. Also, Barton Community College. And he's been around, he's played a lot, especially in Asia. Been with Shimani since 2020. And has also played for Japan, in fact. Eighty-two fifty-six. Tobin comes back into the game, number twenty-two. Going for the offensive rebound. He's going to stay at this end.
Going the other way quickly, Suyama, and saves it before it goes out of bounds. And Karen Buford adding to his tally. Too little too late from Tagashi. Jets are going down to a hard defeat today. So Yama gets another bucket up to 86.59. I'm not exactly sure what Coach Patrick is going to say after this one. Might want to give him some time to cool off. So after these two games against Shimani, they're going to go up against Ibaraki Robots and a couple of games against Nagoya Diamond Dolphins. And one against Anyang and Hitachi Sunrockers. And then Brex, a couple against Sendai. I mean, plenty of time to put it right, but with Uchiba, you want to start getting some consistency, which has uh, eluded them so far this season. Shimani, it's hard to believe they're down in sixth place in the West. Their next opponent. They'll be going up against the Nagoya Diamond Dolphins and a couple against Kyoto Hanaris and Shinshu Brave Warriors. Saga B. And they got a couple against Brex. So the games are going to be coming fast and furious in the coming days and weeks. So they're looking to see if there's any violence in that foul. And he just got him off his feet. The pump fake. So they're not going to call anything. They're not going to add anything to that unsportsmanlike. Oh, they have. I guess they're doing it for a dangerous play. That surprised me a little bit. Well, this adds insult to injury for Chiba Jets. Open. That would have got the crowd involved, and there is the putback for Buford. Well, 19 games, 12 rebounds, four assists, one block for Perrin Buford. The Chiba Jets are going to be happy to uh, to get out of town, go back home, and regroup after this. This has been a mauling away from home and yeah, you almost wonder if uh, Patrick is going to have them practice when they get back home it goes Wiley and almost to get it one more time and Wiley in the end is just going to dribble it out so certainly not the game that we expected folks it was a blowout 90 to 59 Shimani Susanu Magic 31-point margin of victory over Chiba Jets.
who last season one of the best teams in the B League. But I think now people are starting to wonder, especially with the roster changes, certainly isn't working yet for the Chiba Jets. And uh, on this evidence, they're going to do well just to make the playoffs. But don't forget, they did win the first game between these two teams. Sayendo, 24 points. Led the way for Shimani today. 90 to 59. It was one way traffic as Shimani won every single quarter today. And Patrick, I'm guessing, is like, it's just one loss, but we got to do better than this. So you see the robots, Chiba's next opponent. And uh, the Diamond Dolphins will be the Magic's next opponent. And those games will be coming up on December 6th. So just in several days' time with uh, 7 to 5 p.m. starts local time. Here's Paul Hanari. Let's listen. I'd just like to say thank you for your support for the last night and tonight. The, the, the crowd support, your energy has been amazing. Uh, and also to, to give props to the team here. You know, they came out with great energy. I'm, I'm sure you felt it. I'm sure you saw it. Uh, and, and we hope to be able to play like that uh, much, much more throughout the rest of the season. So, arigatou gozaimasu. So Ando says, I really wanted to win because we lost yesterday.
He also said today it was a good card with Chiba, but we always play hard. Uh, so please keep on uh, cheering for us here. We need the support, and we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So they're taking the lap of honor right now after their mauling of Chiba Jets today to gain the split in the series. Nishimura, we didn't see much from him after he took the shot to the, well, it was inadvertent, but clearly uh, making contact with the head. I think it was Ando. Did not do him, make him feel very good. Say Ando had it going early and often. Here was Williams getting the offensive rebound and put back. Pam Buford missing there on his drive. And Chiba responding with a three-pointer, kind of Chica. But it was a blue wave today. And you felt like once Buford really got hot in this situation, had a couple of three-point plays, they were going to be tough to beat. especially when he did this move. Cooks catching it low and going up for the dunk, scoring two of his seven points. Tagashi stroking it from deep. Tagashi, 14 points, but was only 5 of 18 from the floor. 4 of 13 from three-point range. Mooney had a really difficult first half, but came to life in the second and ended up finishing with 16 points, 12 rebounds. But Ando was just, this was his game today. Say it, Ando. The captain, five three-pointers, four assists, eight rebounds, 24 points overall. Taniguchi had some nice minutes off the bench as well. Taniguchi finished with nine points, all coming from three-point range. Played some good defense. And then Kitagawa getting his three-pointers to fall today. Well, he made... One of two. Agawa, this easy drive. Well, maybe there might be a, a chance for a comeback. They pulled it within 10 points right at the start of the second half, but couldn't get any closer. So Yama knocking down the three. Tagashi with the hesitation, passes back outside. 
stroking it. Stevens. The Stevens had a tough shooting day as well. Just three of twelve from the floor. And Suyama, meanwhile, was uh, on target. Finished with 11 points, 3 of 6 from deep. Played 31 minutes, 40 seconds, and just contributed across the board. And that's the last bucket from Perry and Buford. So the celebration on for the fans. Remember, more than 4,500 fans showed out today. So that was a great crowd for them. And uh, you look at the numbers in the end. 17 points off the bench for the Chiba Jets. 26 for the Shimane Susuno Magic. And 24 points in the paint for Chiba Jets. 30 for Shimane. And then you had as well... Nine turnovers for each team. Shooting uh, just superior all the way around. And a lot more trips to the free throw line. 15 of 18 for Shimani Sasuno Magic. And, uh, well, they ended up out-rebounding Chiba Jets. It's kind of hard to, I mean, it's mainly about putting the ball in the basket today for Chiba Jets. They just could not, couldn't buy a bucket. Just eight of 37 from three-point range. I mean, that's just... Woeful. They took five more threes. And they made five less. Endo with 24, 19 for Buford, 16 for K. 16, 14, and 8 for Mooney, Tagashi, and County Chica, respectively. And Buford had 15 rebounds, 9 for K, 8 for Ando. So Buford just, uh, again, just gets it done in terms of especially scoring and rebounding. Also will set up his teammates. 12 rebounds for Mooney, 7 for Stevens, and 6 for Ira Brown. Key players, uh, I guess, in the end, lived up to it. Buford and Mooney. And looking at their overall contributions here from a scoring standpoint. Four assists for Buford, just uh, one for Mooney. So, the... Games that are going to be coming up, and uh, as we said, Nagoya Diamond Dolphins. Okay, here we go. So this is coming up next. Chiba Jets will be Ibaraki Robots. That'll be on December 6th. And uh, also Shimani will be in action as well. So great day for basketball, especially if you're a fan of the Shimani Susonu Magic they roll to a big win over the Chiba Jets. Those fans, I'm sure they still had a good time, even though uh, their team was on the losing end. So once again, final score, 90-59. to 59, Shimane Shusano Magic winning it over the Chiba Jets. Thanks for watching, everybody.